Hi guys, today we're going to be modifying the Kobo Clara HD and we're going to be adding Google Drive support to allow cloud syncing of our own ebook files. Okay, so let's do this. So first we're going to need to open up our web browser and go to Kobo and search Kobo Cloud. And once we get there, we're going to need to go onto GitHub and then go down here and hit download. So we're going to hit download zip and that's going to download the zip file here. Yep. And once that's done, we're going to go into our downloads directory. And we're going to right click this and hit extract to Kobo Cloud Master. So now we're going to open up this directory here and we're going to right click and open up git bash. If you don't have git bash, you can download it by just going to the link below in the description. So then once we open up git bash, we want to go into here and we want to go and run make root robo kobo root sh. So we'll let that run there and it's going to create the file here. So now that's created, we're going to grab our USB cable. Yep. And with that cable, we're going to plug it into our computer and plug it into our Kobo device. And then on the screen of your Kobo device, it should say computer detected and you want to hit connect. Yep. And it will show up on the computer. So now we want to grab this Kobo root folder and we want to move this into .kobo. So we can do that now. And now that it's moved into there, we want to go and eject the device safely. So just hit eject device. And then we want to unplug our device and we want to just go and hold down the off button. You might have to wait for it to... to show back the main screen. Yep, and it'll look like this while it's going. Yep, and now that it's loaded up, you want to just plug our device back in again. And then a device hit connect again. And now that it's reconnected to our computer, we want to, in the guide, it will tell you down below, we want to look for dot add. So Kobo reader dot add, and then you want to go Kobo cloud and Kobo Cloud RC. So you want to go into this folder here, right click it and open it with our text editor. And then we'll find we want to add our directory here. So we are going to need to go and create a directory in Google Drive. So we'll go into our Google Drive here and create a new folder. And we just want to call this books. So then we want to go and right click this and go get shareable link. So now with this link, we just want to copy the link up and we want to change this to anyone with the link, copy the link here and go into our file here. And we just want to and copy our Google drive example here. So now we should be able to copy that and let's grab our Google Drive link again and paste that. So now that we have our Google Live Drive link, we can hit save and let's go to Gutenberg and we can grab a book. 
So let's grab a public domain book here. So we'll go and just go for our most frequently downloaded books. This is a great source for some free books. So then we want to go and download our EPUB file. Wait till it's finished downloading. You can also use these links here to send it to Google Drive, but I prefer to do it manually. So we want to go show in folder. And now let's rename this PNP. And then we want to go and move to our books directory here. And now we want to go and drag our, down, our book into here. Yep, and now we can eject our device. So we need to reboot the device. And once we've rebooted the device, it should show up and sync the books from that directory location. So we just wait for it to load now. Then we want to go my books and then it should show there. Yep, and that's an easy way of syncing books to your Kobo device via the cloud, which means you no longer have to connect USB cables or use a computer to store your books. So if you enjoyed that, please subscribe for more content and like this video. But until the next video, thanks for watching.